What's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Jaylena and this behind me is my van Hampton. He is a 1997 Dodge Ram 2500 and I bought him in July of 2020, converted him and have been living in him since July 2020. I've been living in the van full time since then and traveling full time for the past couple of months. And today I'm going to give you guys an official van tour since it's been complete and I say it like that because there are some changes I wish that I can make and some of it's a little half-assed excuse my grammar but it is what it is and I'm not gonna do anything else on it I'm just gonna leave it as it is I'm not gonna spend any more time converting it um, it's good enough so let's go ahead and get started on this tour This is my dog, Bandit. And this is where she likes to hang out um, when we are parked. And she does sleep on the bed with me every now and then, but that's her preference. So when you first walk in, this is my kitchen area. Um, it does pull out here. And it's a, a butane stove. And it's super handy. I can turn it around and cook outside or I can keep it faced that way and cook inside and it just slides in like that. Since my shoes have snow all over them, I'm going to take those off before we head inside. So this is my just general area countertops. I sit on the countertops a lot because I'm a little too tall to stand up in the van. I'm 5'8 and I'm just slightly too tall. I do have some friends that can stand up in here. Unfortunately for me, I'm just a little bit too tall. So for starters, this is stuff that I pretty much keep out um, most of the time. If I'm driving, I might put it up underneath here just because I don't want it to fly off anywhere. Um, I have baby wipes. I like these baby wipes because they're mostly 99% water. So it doesn't leave like any type of residue or weird, you know, like baby wipe smells or anything like that. And then I use these for when I I am weird about my hands being clean, so I use these a lot. So these are just antibacterial hand wipes. And then of course I have some TP and some paper towels back here. This is my miscellaneous basket. I have anything from um, a wine bottle opener, vitamins, band-aids, dog freshener, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And then up here I have my, um, more like a cosmetics, a toiletry bag. I have all my hair stuff, face stuff, stuff like that. I have Febreze. Then we have my books and I have my cutting boards. I have some gloves back there. I have a jar for my sweetener, um, just some decorations and a candle. And then over here is where I keep all my video uh, equipment, my laptop, stuff like that, when I'm parked. When I am driving, I have a backpack that I load all this stuff in. Down below, this is where I pretty much keep my trash for the most part. I usually just use Walmart bags or whatever type of bags I have. And then I keep Bandit's food down here. Um, there's another bowl underneath this one, so I keep her food and water down there. And here is where I keep the cat food and dog food, dog treats, my all my baby wipes, my toilet paper, paper towels, stuff like that. Um, any extra bags that I have, it all goes uh, underneath here. So to keep all my cabinets closed, I used these. And they all work really well except for this middle one. Uh, the screws that they come with are really, really tiny and instead of just buying bigger screws, I just bought these and I hooked, I rigged it up that way. I keep a lot of clothes in here. And when I'm driving, it likes to pop open. But this is my closet basically, where I keep all of my t-shirts and towels and leggings and just most of my clothes. This actually works really well and I, I'm totally happy with it. And back behind me, this is my pantry. So it's a little overstocked, but it holds everything 
that I need and it stays really cold in here right now and so underneath all the cabinets it's extremely cold which I'm fine with but I can keep stuff like jelly or um, stuff that normally would need to be refrigerated I can actually keep it in here right now obviously I can't do that in the summer but since it's winter time I can do that I typically don't right now the only thing I have in there is some jelly for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches so underneath my bed here I have storage and I pretty much just have shoes and then I have pants in there and more storage, laundry soap, stuff like that. Over here I have some boots on this side, but the cats, uh, I don't keep a whole lot over here so that the cats can easily go in and out. That's how they get to the litter box, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. But that's just extra storage. And over here on this side, uh, underneath my stove, my kitchen area is just where I keep all of my one coffee utensils pots and pans cups and that's pretty much everything that's in there so up on top um i use a french press to make my coffee but this is where i keep the cat food it's super secure because i tuck it in right here and so it doesn't go anywhere when i drive so up on top here we have my bed area and um, I literally only just use my throw blankets to cover up with because I do have a diesel heater Which I'll show you guys in um, Later in the video But it keeps it so warm and toasty in here that I literally don't need a huge blanket But I also since it's just me and I don't need the entire size of the bed It is nice if I do have a friend or anything sleeping in here and traveling with me, but I mean it's literally just me so Behind the pillows, I have some more bins here. So I have all of my shorts and PJs there. This is my camera backpack and underneath I have my bin for all of my socks and underwear and tank tops and stuff like that. And then this is, this is my gym shower bag so if i'm ever going anywhere to take a shower like if i go in my mom's house to take a shower i have everything i need in here i just throw in the clothes that i need to change into and the same thing goes for the gym um if i'm going to the gym and i need to shower or i'm going to shower at the gym that's my gym bag and then over here is where i keep all of my winter jackets sweatshirts stuff like that and then this is just another uh jacket that it was actually my grandpa's and I love this jacket but I look like a hobo in it but sometimes you know I don't really care <laughs> and then also a really cool feature for when I am working on my laptop this is my swivel desk oh dang it this is my desk it swivels out just like this and then I can put my laptop up here and work on this. And then when I'm done, I just flip it back over here. The cats love to hang out on here. I usually don't keep anything on top of here. Here is my mirror. And so whenever I do my makeup, that's the mirror that I use. And what I'm sitting on right now is actually what would be my toilet. And it's a collapsible toilet, but I pretty much use it as a stool, but it does open up. You put a bag here. There's your toilet seat, and when you're done, boom. So I just recently put these curtains in about maybe a week and a half ago, and I absolutely love them. It it makes it easier when I'm parked. I don't necessarily have to worry about putting up all my reflectics in the front. I can just close those and be perfectly fine. And it is very, I took out my front seat, as you can see, and I do not regret that decision whatsoever. So I have a lot of stuff up here. So let me just explain what I have. Um, I do have a big bag of dog food just sitting on top, but underneath the bag of dog food, I do have my Reflectix and I also have a pet stroller for my cats. If I wanna, if me and Bandit are going for a walk, I can take the cats with us. And I have my dirty clothes hamper that usually gets, gets tossed somewhere where it's not in the way. And then I have my all of my solar panels for my Jackery and my Blue Eddy. This is where I keep my diesel gas tank and I do have room in the very back 
where I do keep it if I don't necessarily need it as often as I do right now since it's so cold. Um, I've been using my heater a lot today. The sun's finally out and it's not freezing cold. So it's actually bearable and so I can do this video. Next to it's usually where I keep whatever battery bank I'm using to power my diesel heater. And next to that, I have a 10 pound weight and a scale. And up top we have another kind of miscellaneous basket that I use for stuff. And then I have all my hats, my scarves, stuff like that up there. I keep my tripod and things of that nature up there as well. So that's kind of just a bunch of random stuff that I don't have room for anywhere else, but it works for me. And so this is my diesel heater down here. And um, here's the fuel tank for that. I keep it behind my seat. It is one of the best investments I could have made for van life. A lot of people opt out of getting a diesel heater and they'll use a buddy heater, a Mr. Buddy heater because it's cheaper. But honestly, for less than $200, you could get these things for between $150 to $200 for a diesel heater. And this has been our first winter in the van. It is, it gets, it has gotten so cold and we have been super warm and toasty in here. We haven't had any issues with the cold and I'm uh, super, super grateful to have that diesel heater. So if you're even thinking about getting one or questioning it or wondering how you can keep warm, that is 100% my top recommendation is a diesel heater. So I already have my back doors open. They were actually frozen shut earlier and I had to pry them open, but I got it done. But this is the back of the van. I do have some, it's not netting, I forget what it's called, but I put this up so that I can have the back doors open and keep the cats inside if if I don't want to let, if I'm not trying to let them out. Um, and inside here is the litter box area. If I need to, I can fit my diesel gas tank over here on this side. But this is the cat's litter box area and that's pretty much all I use it for. I have a bunch of stuff in storage on the side. My outdoor shower, some boots, um, just miscellaneous stuff, and then the pooper scooper. But that's where the cats go to the bathroom. <laughs> you like it in there? Yeah? Bye. Yeah, and so that is the back of the van. I do get a lot of compliments on my tire cover. A lot of people freak out because I have the name of my channel on there and they think people are gonna follow me and stuff like that. If I know that, excuse the sirens, if I know that I'm going to go somewhere that's a little more secluded, I do take it off. I don't leave it on there all the time. I take it off when I feel like I need to. If I know that I'm gonna be safe, then I'll just leave it on there. It's not a big deal. I do have some water in the front seat over there, but I typically just have that probably over here on the floor, just out of the way. But I, I use water bottles and then I have gallons of water for the pets. So we're back inside the van. I do have a little smart TV in the van. I don't use it as often as some might think you, you would or you would think that you wouldn't. I definitely don't use it a whole lot just because I try to conserve as much energy as possible. The only solar panels I have are those and it's a hassle to have to whip them out all the time. So I try and charge my batteries via my van when it's running, which has worked great for me. Um, as long as I'm on the road consistently. When I'm stopped in one place, I do use the solar panels quite often. But behind the TV, I have storage up here. I have a whole bunch of just like movies and feminine products and just kind of miscellaneous stuff. And then in here, I have some cleaning supplies, some more movies and a DVD player. And on the other side is just more um, toiletry stuff, shampoos, lotions, contact stuff, teeth whitener, um, fingernail polish, fingernail polish remover, just stuff like that. And then for lighting in here, when the van is not on, I have these little puck lights and they work great for a little while, but they die pretty fast. And so I go through batteries a lot. I'm trying to find rechargeable batteries 
but they're AAAs and it's really hard to find AAA rechargeable batteries right now. I also have this light, which I don't use very often. And then up here is where I keep my drone. I have a fan and some hats. It's a very small cubby, so I don't keep a whole lot of stuff in there. So that is pretty much it for this van tour. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, if there's, I guess, anything I didn't cover would be that on this side of the van, I used cedar tongue and groove. On the floor, I used, um, I used laminate flooring. It was life proof. And then on the other side, I did a map and I just used Mod Pod or whatever it's called. And I glued the map on there. And realistically, I wish I would have just went, I have the cedar, which I may wind up just finishing it and putting the cedar up. Um, I'm not sure. For the window coverings on all the windows, I just use this Reflectix and Velcro. And on the on this side, I keep them up because I really don't need, there's no reason for me to take them down. I usually always take them down on the opposite side, but I leave them up on this side just because I don't need to see out of them when I'm driving. So I leave those up all the time, but I do use the Reflectix at night to um, add privacy so no one can see inside the van and they work great. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the van build itself. So I hope I didn't miss anything. It's a pretty basic van build. Um, there are some things that I wish I had done differently. I regret doing certain things the way that I did them and I was gonna go over all of that in this video but I figure I would make a whole other video separately for stuff like that so stay tuned for that that'll probably be the next video that I post for you guys but I hope that you enjoyed this video if I missed anything if you have any questions I will do my best to answer you guys if you want to comment down below um, with any questions that you may have but it's a super simple build I don't have a ton of stuff which living in a, such a small space you have to kind of downsize very 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 much which i did so i have a lot more stuff that's not in the van that i have to keep at well that i have kept at like relatives houses and stuff like that but most of it's just clothes or stuff that i'm probably going to get rid of because i've lived without it this long i probably don't need it other than like important documents that i should probably just file away with me here in the van with the documents that i do have here but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more van life stuff in the future again thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next one